Well, with Republican Senator Ted Cruz winning the Iowa caucus, well, there has been a question of whether that signals trouble for the ethanol industry. Bob Deneen, president and CEO of the Renewable Fuels Association, joins us live by phone today with Reaction. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Glad to be with you. Now, you issued a statement immediately after the caucus to dispel any notion that the cruise win means the domestic ethanol industry is not on the ropes. Uh, what are you looking for from candidates on both sides now going forward? Consistency. You know, 12 of the 14 candidates uh, running in Iowa supported the renewable fuel standards, said great things about ethanol, and even Ted Cruz, while he opposed the renewable fuel standard, he indeed uh, said great things about ethanol and its uh, ability to increase octane and why it was good for consumers and how he was going to uh, remove barriers that EPA has erected to mid-level blends. So as they move forward now to New Hampshire, I'm sort of watching uh, Ted Cruz say uh, or give a different narrative about ethanol, and uh, I think that's unfortunate. I think, uh, you know, if you're going to support something in Iowa, uh, support it in New Hampshire as well, because ultimately that's going to say a lot about your character and, and how you might govern. Now, American consumers are, of course, looking for a better fuel economy. How will ethanol help? Well, as auto companies struggle to meet uh, what will be a 56 and a half mile per gallon uh, cafe standard, uh, one of the things that they would like to do is to uh, make the engines more efficient uh, and uh, require a higher octane fuel. The best octane and cheapest octane in the world is ethanol. So with a higher compression ratio engine and um, ethanol as the octane enhancer, uh, you would absolutely allow auto companies to meet that higher uh, cafe standard uh, in a way that's good for consumers and would provide greater performance for uh, the vehicle. Well, thank you so much for the insight there on the reaction after this caucus. Uh, Bob Denis, president and CEO of the Renewable Fuels Association, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And keep it right here on your Market Day Report. Meteorologist Joe King is tracking your forecast at 40 past the hour.